wondered what really happens when you press the power button on your Linux machine? From BIOS to login screen, it's not magic, it's science. When you boot Linux, your system goes through five key stages, each one responsible for waking up your computer step by step. Think of it like a relay race. Each phase hands over control to the next until you reach your desktop or terminal. Here's the Linux boot process, simplified in five steps. Step one, BIOS slash UEFI. Initialization, your system's firmware checks hardware, memory, CPU, storage, then looks for a boot device. Step two, bootloader, GRUB. The bootloader loads the Linux kernel into memory. It's like a waiter delivering the kernel dish to your CPU chef. Step three, kernel initialization. The kernel takes control, mounts the root file system, and starts essential drivers. Step four, init slash systemed system starts all your background services, networking, logging, display. Step five, login prompt or desktop environment. Finally, you get your terminal or GUI. Your Linux is alive. Which boot stage do you think takes the longest? Drop your guess in the comments. Want to see your boot process in action? Run DMESG pipeless or system to analyze blame, and you'll know exactly what slows your startup. So next time you boot Linux, remember, it's a five-step dance between hardware and software. And don't forget to follow for more DevOps and Linux breakdowns.